Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create a currency converter like this one here where we can select a currency, let's say the British pound, and we want to convert that to, for example, US dollar. So 100 British pounds would buy me 122.7 US dollars. So let's see how to do that. We're going to use the range B2 to D3, for example. And we don't really need macros to do that, but I'm also going to show you when we may need to use macros. So the first thing we need to do is to get the exchange rates. And we're going to get the exchange rates from the internet. And we can do that in several ways. We can use a web query, as we've seen in previous videos. We can also scrape the data through a HTTP request, or we can also use an API. And we've seen that also in previous videos. If you want to know more about that, I recommend you check the Excel Web Macros playlist in this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the data with a web query. In a follow-up video, I will show you how to do it with an API. There are plenty of free APIs with exchange rates. So we're going to get the exchange rates from this website. But you can use any other website. This website shows the exchange rates in relation to the euro. I'm using that because I'm based in Europe. But if you want the US dollar as a reference, you can use any other website. So here we get the price for each currency for one euro. We can get the data from this website through a web query, either manually through data, new query, from web, or with a macro. So I'm going to copy this code from a previous video where we added a web query to the worksheet, and I'm leaving the link up here, into a new module that I'm going to call query. And as you see, the macro says get exchange rates already from this website. And here is just deleting any existing query table and then adding a new query table where we're going to get all the tables and we're going to set it to refresh on file open. So we will get the updated exchange rates every time we open the workbook. So as you see, this is working with sheets query. So I'm going to add a new worksheet here. And here's where we will get our query table. So if we run the macro, we get the query table with exchange rates for each currency in relation to one euro. So for some reason, the currency is shown duplicated. So I'm going to get the first three digits to get the currency symbol. Uh, I, I will do it here temporarily. So that's going to be And I want to put this in other sheet because I want to sort that alphabetically. And I'm going to get the exchange rate from the other table through a VLOOKUP. And I have to put this twice because it shows twice there. And we also want to have the euro here equals one, because we are going to use this same list as a validation list in our currency converter, which is here in this other sheet. So here's the base currency. We will add a validation list from currencies and the same for the other currency. Now every time we select the currency we want to get the exchange rate for example down here. So we're going to have a VLOOKUP looking for that in the currencies table getting the second and the exact match 
Now, as we don't have anything, we need to but we need to make sure we have something here. So if that's different than nothing, otherwise we're going to have that empty. So if I select, let's say, the Swiss franc, we get the rate down here in relation to one euro. Now you can keep this or you can hide it as you wish. I'm going to leave it visible for now. Now I'm going to set that to absolute so I can copy paste that here. And if we select, for example, the Canadian dollar, we get the price of the Canadian dollar in relation to one euro. OK, now here is where we're going to add the amount we want to convert. And over here, we will get the, um, the conversion. This is going to be equal to that. So let's say we want to convert 100 British pounds in dollars. So we will get that with the amount times the quote divided by the price of the base currency, which is $122.7. Now, when you may want to use macros or when you may need macros in this simple converter. So, for example, if you want to add a button to click and convert, as of now, it just converts directly when you change the input here, but you may want to add a button. In that case, you will have to do it with the macros. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple, and it could also help you learn a little more about Excel VBA. So if we go to the Visual Basic Editor again, and we add a new module, I'm going to call this one Convert. And we're going to have a macro, let's say, Calculate Conversion. And to do that, we need to get the different data. So in B2, we have the amount we want to convert. So that's range B2 value. And we may want to specify that's in sheet 1. So sheet 1, right here. And we can change the name of the sheet module down here in the properties window. Now I'm going to use the same to get the base price and I'm going to copy here, I'm going to change this for base price which is in B4 here and the same for the quote price which is in D4 and now we can say the convert value is the amount times the quote price divided by the base price. And we're going to put that in sheet 1 range D2. So that's the convert value. And now back here, we can add a button and assign the calculate conversion macro, we can change the label and we don't need this formula here anymore. When we click the button, it's going to calculate that for us. If we change the amount here again, we need to click the button to update the conversion. We can also use a macro to update the price here whenever we change the currency. We would do that in other macro, let's say update price for a given cell. So it's either going to be B3 or D3. Then we get the currency as the value of that cell and the currency price through a worksheet function VLOOKUP of the currency 
in sheet 2, which is currencies, that table we saw earlier, which is going from A1 to, to B32 or 33, let's say 34, we're going to get the second value here and the exact match. Then we can in cell offset 1, 0, so the, the cell below value at the, pr the currency price. And we need an event procedure in sheet 1, so, but not the selection change procedure. We need the change event procedure, so I'm going to remove this one. And if the target is range B3 or the target is range D3, so if we are changing the value of the currency, then we're going to call update price for that target, which is going to call update price down here, which will get the current price through a VLOOKUP. And actually, I just realized this is going to be sheet 3, as the currencies table is in sheet 3. You can see that here. So now we don't need this formula anymore. Whenever we change the currency, let's say Hong Kong dollar, it's going to update this field for us. And the same down here, because it's going to get whatever cell we get so if we get the tie bad here we get the we get the price updated and then if we click the button we make the conversion so that's how we create a currency converter in excel without using any macros or also using macros in a follow-up video i will show you how to get the data from an api so stay tuned and thanks for watching